The EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for October 7th, 2025. The Tuesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated. Fall officially began two weeks ago, and it's time to start planning for the cozy months ahead. This winter, why not add a burst of color to your living space or refresh that well loved kitchen or bathroom? At Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated, they specialize in transforming interiors with their residential and commercial painting services. With over 40 years of experience, their family owned business is dedicated to delivering exceptional quality and customer service that you can trust. Whether you're looking for a bold new look or a subtle update, their expert team will guide you through every step, including wallpaper removal and custom color consultations that are tailored just for you. Proudly serving the Southeast PA counties of Montgomery, Bucks, and Chester, Call them today at the phone number above me here in the video, 484-571-9233 to schedule your free estimate. And don't forget, if you mention EPA WA, you'll receive 15% off the total cost of any job that is scheduled between January and March of 2026. They are Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated, proud sponsor of the Tuesday video forecast so today we have a cold front approaching the region still very warm out ahead of it as you see above me 75 to 82 is a temperature spread from northwest to southeast we will have an increase in clouds after any morning sun that you have uh, clouds will begin to increase this afternoon it'll actually start late morning in our interior areas as this cold front makes its way toward our region there could be some decent rain with this as this moves through we'll get to that in a second uh, and then this uh, frontal battle will continue through and exit on wednesday morning so we have some leftover showers in the morning northwest to southeast we'll see that those showers come to an end and then we'll have partial clearing the sun's going to come out uh, during the afternoon again from northwest to southeast as that front clears so let's get over to the am high res future simulated radar i'm going to start this off here at 5 p.m today you can see in central Pennsylvania, the precipitation is just making its way into our region. There could be a few thunderstorms with this, but these would be garden variety storms if you did, in fact, see any of that. Uh, but this will just be up until sunset. After that, the thunderstorms are going to wane and go away. Uh, so we just have some showers uh, continuing overnight, periods of rain that will continue into Wednesday morning. This is looking at 8 a.m. on Wednesday. Still some showers across the interior that are starting to dwindle a little bit. The concentration of this will be across our eastern areas at that point. And then as we get to over the next couple of hours, by noon or so, we feel like it's going to... Uh, at least northwest of I-95, be done and over with. And you're going to have, again, clearing from northwest to southeast. And, and uh, so the, the sun will come out in the afternoon, dry things out. And then by the time you get to early afternoon, it will exit the coast here. This is 2 o'clock, and there's 3, and it's finally off the coast, and that's it. So this will be out pretty quickly. And uh, most of this is going to occur in the overnight hours tonight, as you can see. And in terms of total precipitation, we're generally looking at anywhere between uh, a half and three quarters of an inch for most of the area. There might be a few spots that are a little bit less and a little bit more than that, but I think generally that's a good call for this particular system. A half inch to three quarters of an inch across the region. This is liquid gold, and we definitely needed it, need, need the rain here. So this is a good, uh, you know, solid soaker here for uh, for for the drought concerns that are in pre present across the region. Once that front clears, also there will be some wind gusts picking up and this is going to be most notable uh during the afternoon hours and uh say like a 12 to 6 window well some wind gusts that are 15 to 25 for a short time during that uh during that stretch uh might reach 30 in the elevations but uh that's about it that's all we're going to have for uh precipitation for this particular event uh, but the big story here is going to be the cooler temperatures that are coming behind it. You see above me here, 75 to 82 today. 66 to 70 is a spread on uh, Wednesday as that cold front's moving through, but it's going to get even colder than that. We think Thursday is going to be the bottom out day, so to speak, and I think there's going to be a lot of areas across our region they are going to see some frost, the first frost of the season, in fact, uh, for Thursday night. So here is the uh, cooler air coming in here, and then we get to Thursday. This is what it looks like Thursday, Thursday, and Thursday night. You're going to see these green anomalies, which is even colder than the blues. Uh, so this is uh, relative to average. Temperatures relative to average here on Thursday, and Thursday night is going to be pretty chilly to the point where we're going to have frost, and it's going to be pretty far down south. I think everywhere here, 
northwest of this line is going to be game for frost. That's pretty far south. So we're going to be sending some frost alerts for the first time for those of you described to the My Pocket Meteorologist text alerts if this in fact holds. But there's some temperatures in here that are getting, some areas, getting close to the freezing mark. It might be even freezes in some spots. There's a couple spots here, not many, but there's a few. But the rest of these areas are all low to mid-30s and with clear skies and light wind expected on Thursday night we should have our first frost here in a lot of those interior areas, as I mentioned there. Uh, so once we get past that, uh, Friday's still going to be a chilly day as well. Actually, Thursday, Friday, we're expecting temperatures in the low to mid-60s both days. The warmer the two days is going to be Friday, but mostly sunny both of those days, uh, Thursday and Friday. And then uh, once we get to Saturday, we're going to call it partly cloudy. Now, uh, for so we should have a nice start to the weekend. It might be that the entire weekend might be dry here. Okay, now we talked about this system yesterday, which is a uh, system off the southeastern U.S. coastline. There's a big broad upper level trough that's sitting here. This is all part of that big part, uh, big upper level trough that's here. There's an upper level low that's going to kick in here. It's not shown here right now, but there's once this thing starts making its way up the coast a little bit, there's an upper level low that's going to try to dive into this and grab it at some point. We just don't know where that's going to be yet. Uh, starting to think, like I did yesterday, that it's probably not going to reach our region. I know the European model was showing that before, but there's a big, really strong high pressure sitting up here that might be blocking this from coming up to the north. And I think that's going to end up happening. But we'll continue to watch this throughout the week. That's just my gut feel. I don't think it's going to reach our region at all. Uh, but this does start coming up the coast a little bit. Upper level low dives into it. This is the European model of rant today. And it shows this just consolidating over the Carolinas and sitting there and spinning. This is not a tropical system. Uh, it's not even subtropical. It's just along a frontal boundary here. So, you know, it's just, but because this high pressure is here, and you can see it on Monday morning, it's sitting right here. Uh, blocking the northward advance of this system. It's a pretty strong high, too, so that keeps it further to the south, similar in similar fashion to uh, the hurricanes that we were dealing with, Melda, uh, where we kept that to the south, too. It was the same situation where we had a big high pressure here blocking the northern advance of this system. So I think that's going to end up happening. We'll continue to watch that here for the next couple of days to make sure it doesn't do anything goofy uh, because the GFS went the other direction and does have this coming a little bit further to the north. And actually, uh, the, this is the 18Z run. The 12Z run was actually a little bit further north. Uh, so they kind of flipped scripts here. The European model all weekend and then uh, even the overnight run on Sunday night was still suggesting this was going to come up here and affect us with a coastal low. Uh, since then, the European model has been stepping away from that. The GFS has been stepping toward it. But the 18Z run did back off a little bit. So I really think it's going to end up being a, a Carolina's issue. But, you know, with this in close proximity, might be some clouds to deal with here on Sunday at the very least. It, the time frame we're going to be watching is Saturday night through Monday for, for a possible influence from this. So our local forecasts right now have a 30% chance, variable clouds, and 30% chance of some showers, and that would be in association with this coastal low. But again, the trends have been against this, uh, in my opinion, that I think it's going to end up staying further to the south and not come up the coast because of that blocking high pressure. But we'll continue to monitor it throughout the week and I'll let you know about any changes that are forthcoming if that, in fact, is the case. I'm EPAWA meteorologist Bobby Martich. That is your outlook for October 7th, 2025. Have a great Tuesday.